Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about inserting data into MySQL database using the C# -sharp language. So let's start. So I have created this project in which I have this window form and I will add some controls on this window form. So I'll go to the toolbox and uh, drag in text box. So I'll drag this text box and uh, I'll drag in a label as well. So this is the label. I'll expand it a bit and now I'll change the text of this label so I'll make it center and now I'll change the text on this so I'll go to its properties and now here I'll change the text to um, e a number which means employ employee number and now I'll press control and select this uh, label and I will drag it and it will duplicate and now I'll again duplicate it so again duplicate this so now I'll rename this as uh, employee name and this one as employee designation designation and uh, now I'll now it's look okay so now I'll change the names of these text boxes so our first one is a uh, e number so I'll change this to text box e number and I'll change this one to text box e name and this one to text box e designation g and now i'll add in a button toolbox and i'll remove this and this button i'll drag here and i'll rename this to uh, i'll change the text on this so text where is it? This one is. So I'll change it to insert data. And now I'll click here. Now I'll double click on this to create this click event. So we have created the click event of this uh, button. Now if I show you this uh, Zam, so I have started Apache as well as MySQL. So we are inserting this data into this MySQL. So we need uh, the driver or the DLL for this MySQL uh, to be added into uh, our project. So for that I will come here uh, to these references, right click on this and uh, new get, manage new get packages. And now I'll go to this browse and here I will search for my SQL. And now I'll add this uh, my scale that uh, data. Install this. Now press OK. Accept. Now it, if I expand this, so it is uh, successfully installed. So now we will go to our project again to this form1.cs and here we will connect to our database. Now if I show you our database for that I will uh, go to a browser so I'll go here and search for Google Chrome and now I'll go to localhost this one PHP my admin now this is our uh, database this uh, test db is our database we are going to connect to this and we going to insert some data into this employee table uh, we have nothing inside this employee table 
so if I show you the columns columns now you can see we have this uh, e number e name and e designation so now I'll go to this and now I'll close this so first we will create our uh, server name so string uh, server equals which is local host so local host because we are using a local database and then string uh, db name or data base equals um, uh, test db which is our database that I have shown you then string uh, uid which is the user so we are going to use the root root user so I'll use root semicolon and then we have the password so string uh, password uh, and we are not using any password so uh, it will go empty semicolon now we will create the connection string so uh, string uh, string con connection uh, string equals so first is take the server so um, server equals and uh, plus uh, and it will take uh, a server uh, plus and then double quotes and inside this double quote we will put a semicolon then plus and then it take the database name so we will use data base equals and plus database and uh, plus and double quotes and then semicolon and then plus I will use here plus and uh, double quote UID equals and uh, it will become plus UID uh, plus double quote semicolon and then semicolon and then plus uh, password um, inside double quotes password equals and then plus um, password plus and double quote and uh, semicolon and then we will put a semicolon at the end so our connection string is uh, ready so now we have to create a, our connection with the database so I'll use my SQL connection con is equal to new my SQL connection and here it will take the connection string we have to import this using and now I'll pass in the connection string here so connect string and now uh, we will open this connection string so con dot open this connection is now open I'll put semicolon here now we have to create an insert query so I'll use a string query or query equals and I'll show you a simple uh, method to create the query so I'll come here and uh, I'll select this employee table and now I'll select this uh, SQL and now I'll click on insert now it has created an insert query for me so I'll co uh, copy this and now I'll uh, go here to this and now I'll sh double quote and control V now this is our query so now I will use here the values so the first value is uh, I enter 1 and uh, here I will use uh, John and he is a junior developers developer so R and now I'll put semicolon here now we have to execute this query so for that I will press and enter now we have to create an SQL command so here we will use my SQL command cmd equals new 
my SQL command so it takes two things the query as well as the connection so I'll put semicolon here so first I will pass in query and then the connection con now we have statically typed these values here so I have to use it from the text boxes so I'll come here and uh, the first value is uh, from uh, text box number so text I'll use double quote here so instead of here I have to change it here so in this uh, in place of this one I will use uh, double quotes double quotes and inside these double quotes I will use two plus signs and then um, text uh, box e number dot uh, text and then here I'll use um, double quotes double quotes and then inside this I will use uh, two plus signs and then I'll use um, uh, text box uh, ename dot text and then for the last one I'll use uh, a similar method so double quotes double quotes and then two plus signs this is continuation and uh, text box uh, e designation dot text so now we are good to go so we have to execute this query so below here I will use uh, um, cmd dot execute non query and now I'll put semicolon and it will return me an integer value so int value equals this one and now I'll use uh, message box dot show and uh, I'll use uh, value uh, dot to string and now I'll put semicolon and here I can use con dot close so I'll close the connection now we are good to go now I'll run this application and we will check if it is working now if I run this now the application is running so if I uh, enter one here and uh, if I enter here name as uh, uh, Ali and designation is uh, junior developer and now if I insert this data now it is showing us the value 1 so it means one row is inserted so if I come here to this uh, employee table and click on this and OK this now you can see one Ali engineer developer is inserted here now if I go again and change these values now if I make this 555 five, five, and this one John and this one as a manager and now if I insert this data now you can see um, one is shown so it means one row is affected so if I refresh this now you will see that 555 uh, five, five, John manager is added so this was insertion in C sharp into my SQL database so I think that's all for today the code of this uh, video will be available in the description of the video so I hope you like this video if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and please don't forget to share this video thank you